The Director, The People, and The Boltzmann Jaw was written by Dr. Kadal. You can find it on the SCP Wiki at https colon forward slash forward slash scp dash wiki dot wiki dot dot com forward slash boltzmann dash jaw. It is under a Creative Commons share alike attribution license, and you will be able to find it in a link in the description below. A Boltzmann brain is a fascinating thought experiment. Could a fully functional human brain, complete with memories of a lifetime, manifest spontaneously? Furthermore, is it really a brain? Or is it a person? And if it was randomly assembled, does it achieve the function of one that wasn't? Or that is the question we face today. Or consider the ship of Theseus. If a simple wooden ship has every one of its hundred planks replaced, one each year over the course of an entire century, in that hundred and first year, is it the same ship? Last night, I believe we've got an answer. SCP-096's face was randomly generated by an artificial intelligence on the internet. 265 people died, and an entire city was amnesticized. This was not an artistic depiction. It was a pixel-for-pixel pixel copy. At first, we assumed there had been some sort of leak by a rival group. But our embedded agents and cooperative groups found nothing to indicate so. Next, we checked to see if some anomalous phenomena were affecting the output of the AI. Again, we found nothing. 096 began clutching its head and whining at Site-19 around 319. After half of our agents on that side of the world were assigned to deal with the impending breach, we set out to figure out the target. SCP-096 traveled 200 miles through a forest for entering a house and removing its target. At 3.57, SCP-096 was recontained. That beast breaking out isn't what matters. I'm imploring you to listen to what does. There's no way we could have expected SCP-096 or an authentic photo of it to randomly generate, but it did. No matter what, we cannot plan for everything. Randomness is inevitable. Randomness could always strike us down. Whether or not the president itches his nose, an asteroid could destroy us. And whether or not 049 is mad, a mundane pestilence could take us down. Sometimes it is best to let what will be, be. For every random breach, a thousand human beings find love at first sight. By struggling against entropy, we have become evil. Evil, by the way, in the pursuit of an impossible goal. What I'm saying, Overseer, is that containment breaches are not a threat to humanity. Containment breaches are what it means to be human. And if I must see the new era where containment is exposed for what it truly is, the suppression of life, I will. Why should we perceive an evil goal? One we can never attain. Proceed on your mission if you wish, but Area 23 has seen enough. Consider, Overseer, a snake, a hundred feet long but only six inches thick. The snake slides along the forest floor for five years. One day, it grows a human arm out of its side, random as anything, and the snake spends the next year struggling to press itself against the rocks, to cut the arm off as the snake believes it to be harmful. But one morning, the snake pulls itself up, one branch at a time, and by sunset, it's staring down on a world it never knew existed, and it's then that the serpent would be thankful for its hand. Dominic Eliushin, Director of Area 23, The Serpent's Hand Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over.
to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including MC Keshmal, who has pledged at $50. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.